So, um, one of my friends have actually built an ugly bridge here to get to the other side over there, and, uh, it's very ugly, so I'm gonna fix it. Here's the bed, here's the bridge, uh, I just have to copy over the little thing over here onto the other side. Okay, now that I made the bridge, um, I realized that it was probably a better idea to make a higher bridge so you can get through with the boat. So that's kind of annoying, but... Well, it's already done, so I guess I can't really change it now because it would take a lot of work. Hello, and welcome to Theoroxide Season 2. This is episode 4, and in this episode, I'm going to be building a spider spawner. I decided that I wanted a level source that is close to my home, so I am... This spider spawner is literally right below my base. It is about 30 or 40 blocks up. And here we have the area cleared out. I think that's going to make a pretty good spawner. Let's place down a bucket just to see how it kind of works. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to use a few buckets. So, um, yeah, I'm just going to get back to you once I have the spawner pretty much done and dusted. So, another thing I was doing is I have kind of been trading with some villagers. And so, um, I have actually found one of my favorite villagers and renamed him Bob. Let's see, this guy right here. He's Bob. He has paper and feather falling. As you can see, he can give you feather falling for just 11 emeralds. And if you give him 19 paper, he will give you an emerald. I still have to do this. Okay, there it is. That's perfect. Okay, now this pilot shouldn't be able to get out. So another thing with this, I have, I've actually mined this away, so I can put this and collect all of the drops. You don't have to do it if it's a regular mob spawner, but the cave spiders, you have to kind of have some sort of special collection system because they're a little bit more tricky. And look at that, Fortune 2 Efficiency 3. That is a good pick. 